What's going on, YouTube? It's a boy. Back at it with another video for y'all. Today, guys, and today I'll be showing you know, this is gonna be like a different kind of video, guys. And this is just all going to be all about, you know, my PC specs, my, you know, my sensitivity, my stretch rates, you know, all this kind of stuff, man. I know I usually get like questions about this kind of stuff, you know, on my streams or my videos. They'll be like, you know, someone wants to sense, what's to say, oh, you know your PC specs, all that stuff, man. And today I'll be covering, you know, all that stuff in this video, guys. So if you guys are, you know, new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, okay? So you don't miss any, you know, bangers on this channel, guys. You know, with that being said, we're just gonna hop in the video. Bro. First, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the you know the DPI my mouse DPI. So I don't really own like gaming stuff like oh, so I play on a laptop. I play on a normal you know normal desktop mouse. So I don't really own that you know I don't really own gaming gaming stuff. So I got a mouse. Obviously, I have a mouse. So my mouse DPI is two thousand seven hundred. Okay. That's my mouse DPI. I don't really, I didn't actually know what DPI was before, you know. Some of my viewers were asking me what's a DPI, you know. Getting comments, you know. Yo, some of you watch a DPI, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't know what my DPI is, bro. This is my first. I don't really, I don't usually, you know, play that much PC games that much, so I didn't really know that much stuff about DPI. So that's my DPI 2700 right there. My PC specs, I play on a laptop, I don't play on a PC. And, you know, I feel most of you guys should know they're already. I play on a HP laptop. I'm gonna, you know, show the specs around one of these corners right here, okay? My full specs, 60 gram, graphics card, I don't really know what graphics card I use. All I know is that it's an Intel graphics card, okay? And, yeah, 6 gig RAM, not that much, but it's okay. Like, I feel the lowest gig of RAM you need for script system is like 6 gig bro. Cause like I don't really get that much. I get like 50, like sometimes I get 50, sometimes I get 100 FPS. Depends on you know how long I've been playing the game. So that's how it works on CD, I guess. So I'm gonna hop in some other stuff. So this is my settings right here, guys. Full mode always. I've always got my graphics on low. I can rock normal graphics or high, but I I prefer you know having better FPS than you know. Having a good looking game. Frame rate is really on ultra. Sometimes high, sometimes ultra ultra. But you know, I know I feel it's better if you like leave it on high or ultra, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, it's better to have better FPS than low FPS. And my graphics styles classic. I mean sometimes I just use colorful but you know someone said in my chat that you know you get better FPS when you play classic and since my laptop is trash, I you know prefer using classic. So this I play on third person. I use FPP. Maybe one day I might make a first person shooter gameplay only challenge. Maybe something like that. Okay. Teams of ten leader only allowed to join. Wait, okay, let's go. Spectating, battling for all this normal stuff. Wow, not that interesting. This is my controls, my forward, everything is like normal. I, I see the only weird thing about my keybinds is my jump, because my jump is F, not spacebar. And I feel almost everyone uses spacebar as a jump button, but I use F. And you know, based on my original you know, keybinds on Fortnite, because I just say Fortnite, I was, I didn't really watch that much streamers. Like, I watch streamers, but I didn't really like care about their keybinds or sensitivity, so I just, you know, tried any keyband that worked you know good with my fingers since that like i was say fortnite was my first pc game that really that that's my first pc game like i said from all these normal games that don't really use that much don't really need that much skills to play you know what i'm saying so fortnite was my first game so f i was trying to look for a jump so like at first i was, at first i normally use like space bar but i switched to f because and it felt way more, you know, me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was so much comfortable. I use space as my wall. I feel like I use tab as sprint too, since it's really close to my W key. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel the 
reload is Q, melee weapon 1, item slot X, Y, I'm mean, XZ, that's my, that's my SMG and my pump, my SMG is pump, AR, V is usually mine, like X and V, I usually, you know, swap, like, kind of weapons I usually have on X is either RPG, sniper, or an SMG, but V, just sometimes band-aids, heals, probably an SMG if I have a RPG, bind it to my first slot. There, okay. three bandage, three and four just usually, usually bandage and shield. Those are my last two key keybinds, so I don't really use them, you know, don't really use that much number in my keybinds for like things I really need to use fast, like XZ, that's my pump and my SMG, so you know. My hands have to be constantly on those. You know what I'm saying? So build wall, space, floor, E, ramp, R. Okay. Down ramp. I was I just used my pyramid I use in Fortnite. <laughs> That's my down ramp. Custom build C. Switch, building or firearm H. I don't really use this that much. Confirm build does those are like easy. So my workshop, this is like my editing button, okay? So I'm going to give you guys like a little bit story about this keybind, okay? So I normally used, I started using alt, but since I binded my spring button to my tab key, so sometimes I really like, you know, press alt and tab at the same time, you can, you know, I feel most of you guys notice that, you know, it switches it to you to another, another screen. So let's say I'm finding somebody and I hold on to alt tab, and my character does, you know, I just stop moving, then I die. So, so I have to change to O. Oh, what the hell? So I have to change this to O. So the thing about O, I is I binded this to my side button to my mouse. So I use this use this app. Since I don't have a gaming mouse, so you know I use an app to bind keys to my mouse. Trap T, all that stuff, man. These are like normal stuff. I don't really use trap shortcuts that much. Like, it kind of messes my flow when I'm playing the game because I'm not that, you know, used to pressing other keys. Let's say from my normal keys, you know? So I tried binding this to my to my side buttons on my mouse, but, you know, it didn't really work out that much. Honestly, man, it didn't really work out that much, bro. But, I mean, I'm just going to depend on pressing the trap button and trying to switch with my mouse. Map M, parachute F, this is my jump button as well. Backpack is I. I guess that's all. All that stuff right there. My pickup button, so this is my pickup button right here. I don't use auto pickup on my. on weapons only. Only materials, ammo, grenades, traps, and health. That's when, that's the only time I use auto pickup on my, you know. On CD, this is my advanced projectile. Never actually tried compass before, but you know, I prefer projectile because you know there's an arrow right there that shows you know stuff right there. You know what I'm saying? Activate quick build. Yep, closer to perspective. I don't really use that that much. I don't really use trap shortcut settings too. Scope sense. Yeah, hold. I prefer using hold mouse to scope instead of you know. Tap into you know to scope auto sprint jog by default tap and hold to sprint nice so this is my actually I feel this is like one of the in like the most important parts about you know the sense right here so this is my basic scope right right here so it matches with your 72 you know with your mouse DPI so if you have a different DPI it won't be the same you know the same thing with mine so this kind of very depends on the type of mouse you have and the type of DPI you have as well so this is my sensitivity right here and it also depends on your your sense your stretch resolution but like on my stretch res I should have said I have said this in the beginning of the video for reals bro I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna put it like a text in the beginning of the video so my stretch res is 880 by 768 so that's a really good rest for me you know what i'm saying it's not that you know stretched i mean it's stretched but it's watchable you know what i'm saying because you know i don't want to be streaming some pixel 
doodle graphics on my screen but i feel that it's so hard to watch out you know i'm just gonna stick with 880 by 768 it's a really good stretch press i i rock with that rest so much pretty good nice 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 basic scope scope sensitivity right here not bad not bad sound i don't think this is that important but this is my sound sense right here i don't really like having that much loud background music for real but only time i use the background music like i really want is when i'm doing an emo that's the music that i really like you know what i'm saying so i like this to be high when i'm like the, the only reason why i don't use it that much is just because of the lobby music is boring bro lobby music is trash the music that you hear when you're in the bus and and also the music you hear when you're when that trying to be transit and all that stuff so I remember enable all I feel it's better if you have it on enable all voice inputs usually have it on Timon only and the speaker volume depends on the kind of person I'm playing with honestly I know I feel most people on CD have really bad mics so I usually have this as like really really low maybe like 50 percent at um, most i don't really know what this effect does but i think i'm gonna try that after the video quick reply i don't really use this that much i just use the i just click on i just i'll i usually use my mic and then you know if you use mic you don't really need this kind of stuff when you're playing with people with your teammates you know what i'm saying about a problem get this on part of the sense so so I guess that's the end of the video. That was a really short video. <laughs> pretty, pretty short video right there, guys. And I know guys, I've only been uploading videos or streams. You know, I got school. I got to grind school, man. If I fail, if I fail. I'm not, I, I don't tell you to do YouTube that much anymore if I fail. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that'll be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, all we got to do is leave a like, okay? Just leave a like, smash the subscribe button, all that stuff, man. Ah! <laughs>